My name is Pastor Joe, and this is today's video devotional. When Jesus was teaching a great crowd of people, the Pharisees brought a woman who had caught, been caught in the midst of adultery. They threw her at his feet, and they said that the law says that she should be stoned. And they asked Jesus a question, trying to trick him and saying, What do you say we should do with her? Instead of responding quickly, Jesus stooped down to the ground and started writing on the ground. And then he said, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. And one by one, it says, from the oldest to the youngest, the accusers that brought her before Jesus began to walk away, for they had sinned. No one was without sin within his midst. And then Jesus was looking up in her, and he said, Woman, where are your accusers? Where are they? Who are they? And she said, Nowhere, Lord, there are none. And he said to her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. How did Jesus respond to sin within someone's life? He offered her a way of escape. He was the only one who would be able to cast a stone at her because he was the only one in that company who was without sin. Yet God chose grace. Jesus chose mercy instead of law. Do you know that Jesus came to fulfill the law? Jesus came so that you and I might have good things. He did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Jesus Christ might be saved. Come to Jesus today. You might have accusers all around you saying, what do you say we should do with this person? But you don't have to worry or be afraid of coming to Jesus. He knows your life is messed up. We have all been there and some of us are still there. But we come to Jesus and he will look up at us the same way he looked up at that lady that day. And he said, where are your accusers? Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. He didn't say what she did was okay. But he said that he did not accuse her. And if you come to Jesus Christ, you can be made whole. And he won't accuse you. He demands holiness, yes. But he also gives you the strength and the power to be able to live that out on a daily basis. Come to the Father today and experience his forgiveness and his love. Have a great day. Glory to God. Do that again. Come on. Glory.